What's up, y'all? My name is Eric Jordan. I'm Anthony Sellers. And this is Browns, Browns in Our Blood. Blood, free agency edition. Make sure you go subscribe to the channel. It's Monster Long on YouTube. Click subscribe. Hit the alert button. Make sure you alert to get all our notifications. And definitely like and comment. Well, let's get into it, guys. We got some free agency stuff going on. Getting ready for the draft. It's real exciting times to be a Browns fan. Let's just get into it. Joe Thomas, he's retiring. And I personally think the right thing to do for Joe Thomas, get him a statue. Put a big number 73 <laughs> statue right in the front of the front of the um stadium. First yes. energy, Joe Thomas 73. Needs to happen. I like that idea. Yeah, that's yeah. what I think is happening. Your thoughts on free agency so far? It's been fun. I like it. I like that we got Landry in that trade. I know it's not free agency, but I'm so happy for that. I'm so ecstatic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I can't wait. I cannot wait for the season just for that. Yeah. I know he's not like an electric player, like what they think. Like, right. you know, can turn the game over like Gordon used to back in the day, but sure handed, mm -hmm. led the league in receptions. Right. I just, I can't wait for it. I, I, I love it. I love all things about it. Tyrod, Taylor, my. I, Okay. And what's crazy about this, most of these players we draft, I had in fantasy. I drafted most of these players in fantasy. I, didn't ever had, <laughs> I never drafted Landry, but I had Tyrod, I had Carlos Hyde. And so, I, you know, if you're into fantasy like that, you're constantly watching these players. Tyrod does not yeah. turn the ball over. He does not. A lot of those close games we had last year. With, 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 could have had a different outcome. Could have had a different yes. outcome. Um, we were just talking about this. You think Carlos Hyde is basically yes. the same player as Isaiah Crowell? I, I do, I do. And no disrespect, I love Crowell. I, I, I love I Crowell. I don't know. He's not, man. I really think he is. I don't know. From he's, what I, tape I've seen, I just He's definitely faster. He's definitely quicker. He's definitely quicker into the hole. He can catch more out of the back, though. I do remember that. Yes, yes. But, I just I just think he makes. he's one of those backs who makes something out of nothing. More. I don't know. I feel like we're trading tomatoes for tomatoes here. That's mm. all. That's what I felt like when I saw it. I just felt like it was a trade for, you know, the same kind of player. Wrong. Plus, his Hyde going to stay healthy. That's my only other concern. Now that's true. I definitely yes. saw that Hyde would definitely get hurt for you a couple of games. But one yeah. thing I definitely saw, he will play hurt too. That's true. And he, he will did play through a couple. Of games. And he will produce hurt. He will produce hurt. He's good at that. I don't know much about Randall. But the highlights I've seen about Randall, he looked like he hits, and he looked like he's a playmaker. Yeah. I didn't like that they gave up on Kaiser so early. Yeah. That that's the, that kind of rubs me wrong. I get why they, I get exactly why Dorsey did it and wanted to do it, but I, I don't know. It doesn't sit well with me. Well, you know, I, I he don't. Kinda got, he kind of got screwed, I feel like. Yeah, because us watching him so much last year, I, I think we're so invested into him, and we both saw the potential. Yeah. I mean,. And a lot of if you go on these Facebook groups and these these um, online football groups, they they kill Kaiser. He's like yes. the worst. But I didn't see that. I thought Kaiser had potential. I definitely do. And I think that learning under Aaron Rodgers is going to help him. Yeah, he's going to be bad. He's definitely better than Brett Hundley. He's <laughs> yeah. definitely better than Brett Hundley. And I know y'all say that because Brett Hundley won a couple games last year, but that's because he learned under Rodgers. Watch what Kaiser does once he learns under Rodgers. Jarvis Landry, man. Oh, he's a dog. He's yeah, a dog. Excited. That's the best thing I like about Jarvis Landry. He's a dog. He got attitude. He's fight. You know, he he's he don't. You can tell he don't like to lose. Yeah. He don't like to lose. He gonna change. He gonna change the attitude in that locker room. I think we got somebody who's like gonna really just take the whole temperature gauge up a notch in the locker room and on the playing field, and and and, and be that beast. Ain't gonna be ain't gonna be no drop passes with Landry. He gonna make the tough catches. Do we trade Corey Coleman? Yes and no. <laughs> this is a yes and no question about Corey Coleman. Yes, because he got value. He has some value. So I understand that everybody sees the potential of Corey. I, he hasn't reached it here yet in Cleveland. We've seen glimpses of it. Same reason why I say no, because he might become that dude. Corey might be. Is the jury still out on Corey? Yeah. He might become that dude. So for me, it's yes and no. This is his. This is his make or break year. Right. One thousand percent. It's his make or break year. Now that going through that new regime again, he had the broken hand twice. Right. He can't. He can't get injured. One. Right. 
and right. he's got to produce in these first like four or five weeks, or else I think they're going to try to trade him right before the trade deadline in midseason. Right. right. So this is a make or break year for him. I don't think we trade him right now though. I think I think you stick with him because it adds depth. But it, it adds, like having Coleman, Gordon, and Landry gives us pretty good depth at the wide receiver spot. Yeah, that sounds so, good. That sounds good. That's why I say we keep it right now. Right. And then if he doesn't perform and producer is a malcontent in the locker room throughout the season, then try to get rid of him towards the trade deadline. If we did get rid of Corey Coleman, do you want Terrell Pryor back? No. You're not sold on Terrell. Uh, yeah, I think it's ran its course. Yeah. Yeah. And. With what's going on, the changes they made with these free agencies right now, like I don't think he'd fit in right. Well, I'll be honest with you. If I had to pick between the two, I want Corey Coleman. Yeah. If I had to choose between Corey Coleman and, and Terrell Pryor, I want Corey Coleman. I understand the potential of Coleman, of Ter Terrell Pryor, his height and all that, but Coleman's a lot younger too. Yeah, Coleman's a lot younger, and there's something about Coleman. I think he got it. I don't know if he'll ever reach it, but he got this thing about him, and. I, and like you said, this might be the year. This might this be is, the year. This is his make or break year. That's right. all it is to it. Okay, now after seeing what we've done in free agency so far, what is your current draft strategy? The Anthony Mock Draft 2.0. I want Barkley. I want Barkley. We want Barkley. We want Barkley. <laughs> it's not going to happen, but that's what I want. You really think they're going to take a number one? I think they're going to take QB number one. It's, I feel like I just the way it's moving, they're, the, the way they made the trade with Tyrod, yes, he can be the answer, but they're going to use him as a bridge. They're treating him as a bridge, okay. in my mind. So I think they're going to take a QB number one. Well, that's we're not doing what you think. We're doing what you want. You want Barkley with number one. What you going to do with yeah. the number four? Number four, if Chubb is there, then I want Chubb or Fitzpatrick. Chubb or Fitzpatrick. Yeah, then go defense with it. And those those last three those those three second round picks, what you thinking? I mean, you ain't got to go, you ain't got to say a player, but what at least what position? I think you got to go offensive line. Offensive line. Yeah, and then the other two, I really don't know. Right. Would you take a QB? Did, if you go if you go with Barkley and Chubbs in the first with one and four, do you go a QB in the second round? Uh, yeah, I'd probably have to. Or would you Again, want to? This is your, this is your yeah. draft. I wouldn't want to. Because I think Taylor, I think Taylor can be the answer. <laughs> but, but but still though, you gotta you, know, you gotta have you gotta have depth, yeah, which they don't depth. we don't have. Yeah. yeah. So that's another good point. So then again, they can turn out like Kirk Cousins, be a fourth round pick, and then get a fully guaranteed I contract. Re I really thought they were going to steal Simon McCarron. Well, what I would do with my draft pick, number one, Saquon Barkley. Number four, I want Fitzpatrick, and is I want Fitzpatrick for locker room. I think. For what Dorsey and them are trying to do, because that's one thing we yeah. saw. If you see, the first thing they're asking is they want guys who like to play football. And I think that's a big thing, because it's not like, are they good at football? No, do they like to play football? That's a big difference. Then, two, do they have the right kind of attitude? I think Fitzpatrick is, is that dude for that Yeah, pick. yeah, I agree. That first second round pick, I would take a quarterback. Personally, I would hope, I mean, he's not going to be there. I would hope Lamar Jackson is there. I know. Yeah, I he know. won't be there. They're he overvalued. Won't be there. But I know I had, a lot of people think Lamar Jackson's a bum. I'm just like, Lamar Jackson, 30 TDs passing is 30 TDs passing. I'm sorry. That guy could throw the ball. And then you know what kind of athletic freak he is. I would take Lamar, let him sit, let him learn from Tyrod, let Tyrod be the bridge. And I love that Tyrod Taylor said this. Someone asked him about being a bridge quarterback. He said, yeah, I'm going to be a bridge right to the Super Bowl. <laughs> That's 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 a that's oh that's the kind of players we got now. Competitiveness, man. Yes, I love it. I love it. Would you try using one or two of those second round picks to trade back up in the first round? Yes. If there was a player that really coveted. I'm also opening open to the fourth pick using for trade too. The right kind of equity yeah. out of it. Yeah. 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 I'll be open to that. I'm not. I'm definitely not open to that first pick though. Got to use that. Of the QBs, if you had to take one, who would you? Probably Darnold, honestly. Darnold? Yeah. I think Josh Allen. I haven't seen Darnold's pro day. I would see that. But I think I would go with Josh Allen just because he looks like an AFC North QB. Yeah. But I'm like you. I haven't seen enough of them. You know, I don't watch overall college football like that. I do. I'm loyal to my West Virginia University Mountaineers. And I love Will Greer and David Stills. It's going to be something to watch next year. You'll see. 
you will all see <laughs> next year what we got down here in Morgantown, West Virginia. It's going to be something incredible to watch. From the eye test of what I see right now, I'd have to say Josh Allen. Josh. Well, yo, thanks for watching Browns in Our Blood. This is our special free agency uh, uh, edition. We'll be back right before the draft. We're going to do a, a draft um, pre-draft show, and then we'll do a draft show. We'll be covering it live from First Energy Tailgate Parking Lot. We got our tickets. It's just a matter of can we get off work. Can we get there? Can we get there? Can we get there? <laughs> can, we get there? <laughs> can we get there? But if we can get there, it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching the show. My name is Eric Jordan. I'm not Eric Jordan. That's Anthony Sellers. And this is Browns, Browns in, in Our Blood. Blood. Here we go, Brownies. Here we go. Woo! <laughs>